Hi, welcome to a Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence. Today we're going to take a look at the Mark II Designs Weapon Set A. Now, I already did the B. I think they're pretty good. You can now get these on BBTS or you can go directly to his site. I will drop links to both those places in the description. Um, so watch it. These are all gray. I think they look really nice for the most part. I think some of them seem a little big. But it may just be that the figures are a little bit smaller. But they do work. And the one thing that he talked about, and it was on um, Toy Habits, is that most of the weapons that he does, a lot of them are designed after 80s movies or TV shows, maybe 90s, whatever, of weapons that we always wanted to have that we never got. Um, so and we'll kind of go over this. In this one, there's like the the one from that Billy uses in Predator. I did not bring up Spirit because I really didn't want to. Now he's entangled in my display with Zartan and it's just pain. But he has a bunch of different ones and any one that I remember, I would definitely point out. So anyway, um, before we start, take a second. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. I want to hit the like button. Hit the bell notification so you are notified every time I drop a video. So anyway, let's just get to this. If you don't want to look at me, you want to see what these weapons are. This thing was about 16 bucks, 16 or 17 bucks on BBTS. It's a little bit cheaper on Mark II Toys, but then you also have to pay for shipping. I had this put in my pile of loot. Though, the first set that I did order from Mark II Designs, I ordered it on a Friday. It was shipped out. I had it on a Monday. So he was shipped, at least back then, he shipped out super fast. So anyway, let's take a look at it. All right, so what I have here is a Marvel Legends, some G.I. Joes, and a Valiverse figure to see how they look with these weapons. Now, normally, I don't really care for doing a like, complete unboxing, but this one comes off really easily. Easily. I'm just going to slide it open. Kind of slide it open. Just slice it open. And then I like the way that they are packaged. It's in this nice seal. This thing just comes right off. I don't remember. Yep. So there they are. They're not going to bend. You don't need to be them warped. I think this is how Gridiron Studios should send theirs. Uh, so it, I just like it. It's going to keep them straight. But these weapons are, are, pretty, are pretty tight, to be honest. So they're, they're nice. They're straight. They're not going to break. He talked about all this on when he was on Geek, not Geek Dead Life. And toy habits. So you can find it again. Mark to toys, Mark, Mark design. He goes by different names. There's a lot of 3D printing. So we'll quickly take a look at the weapons. And so here's an M16 with a shotgun on it. And most people will remember this from Predator. Again, he likes doing stuff that he said that he never got. Now, nothing has a removal mag. He talks about that. He said anytime you do a, a removal magazine on a weapon like this that's so small, something has to give. He doesn't like doing it. He said it's not that big of a deal to him. He did gray because he said when he was in the military, all the weapons were one color. But they're made so you can paint. Put some primer on it, and you're good to go. Here we have this weapon, which I always loved. And I do believe this is the weapon from Commando that he uses right at the beginning. When the guy says, right, he says, wrong. And he just shoots him in the head because that's what Arnold did. <laughs> then we get the box Uzi, which again, I believe was used in, was it used in Commando? Box Uzi has been used so many times. I uh, always love this weapon. Always had a cap gun like this, it seemed. Now... I'm trying to remember whose gun this is. Is this... I don't think it's Dusty's. Although it's very similar. But I know there have been other weapons that are like this. It's okay. I've never liked the magazine behind it. But it's giving us different weapons. So I do like the way they look. And here is the Uzi. With the stock on it. I do believe this one was in Commando. When he fires it one hand and he just throws it away. Because I guess he doesn't want to reload. Here is the shotgun that is specifically, I believe, made for Flint. So you can use that with him. I like the way this looks. It's just a nice looking weapon. 
And then we have the M4. And I, I really like this. He is doing designs for the Oliver style. And he said the one thing that he wants to do is he doesn't want to do the exact same weapons they've already done. So, you can see it has a little bit of bend to it. But unless you put a lot of pressure on it, they're not going to break. They're not real hard and brittle. And then here we have a different type of effector. Is that right? Vector? And I kind of like this. It's small. It's weird. It's just it's weird looking. But everything that he does is realistic weapon. So... Let's quickly start with our beachhead. And as you can see, he's already using from uh, set B, beachhead's gun. So I'm gonna throw this nice looking M4 with no scope on it. I'm sorry, with a scope, but no, nothing else on it. Now this here, I think looks pretty good. It's smaller. And again, he was in the military. He talks about how he likes realistic weapons i think this looks pretty good um i love the way this weapon looks in general so there is that and then again you look at it here it's got the handle on it the barrel looks nice got this nice little scope it looks like can you hear the dog in the back he's starting to whine in and out in and out that's what all he wants to do all the time but I do like the gun. It looks really nice. He puts some nice detail in it. He does some really, really nice work. Oops. And then here we have the, the Uzi, which looks really cool. It seems to have a kind of a big, like a big uh, grip here. But look at that nice detail. I, I really like the way these weapons look. He does a really good job. Uh, it's clearly not the quality of gridiron, but again, gridiron, I might get a weapon and a half for what this whole pack cost. So you kind of got to pick, you know, you pick and choose, you know, what you're going to get. And let's see if we can throw it in the Cobra officer's hand. So this grip is big, which means you're going to stretch out the hand. But I do like having the stock. You have to do some playing around. Again, I'm not going to sit here and play around too much with it. Because no one wants to sit here with me for that long. Or maybe you guys do. Who knows? Alright. This one off. So he's already has this weapon here. So it fits perfect. You can have these. You can have these figures. Those weapons fit perfectly together. So let's get a different style for him. So go with this one here, it's smaller, it's got this long stock. It definitely makes things difficult when you have these long stocks with these action figures because they don't really move the way a human would. Not that I need to tell you guys this, but it looks like we have to kind of shrink his hand. But you'd be able to get that into a good pose here. So here, if we look at it, again, nice detail. These things are meant to be customized. The stock is just so weird. It's amazing that it's something that's real. But I do like the way that one looks. Let me think of the Oliver's here. This is the original Series 1. So you got to be careful because you never know when something's going to break on, on them. So we grab the M16 long-ass rifle. And throw it up here and since it's kind of already in the pose that actually looks whew, does that look good you know what i might just leave him sitting there with that weapon that looks so i'm sorry i have him in a perfect pose the c the c clamp is that what they call it just looks so good Oof. so let's just look at that design there the M16 is a pretty boring looking weapon in general, but you got the shotgun on the bottom. Ooh, I like that. Just to leave him right there. I can't touch him anymore. So, you kind of get an idea of how they look. This weapon, I have no idea what it's called. I'm not even going to try and name it. I, you know, someone can say what it is in the uh, 
in the comments. I don't know what it is. I just know that this is what I do believe Matrix was using at the beginning. Why do I have... I don't know why I don't have two trigger fingers on this figure, but I don't. <laughs> Again, another long rifle. I think it looks... I love this rifle, but you got to find a big figure. Something that's kind of got to be like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Because honestly, if I'm talking about Commando, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But again, another another, another nice looking weapon. Again, these are inexpensive. 16, 17 bucks for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weapons. So you can replace a lot of the weapons. If you're doing customs, they're nice for that. Inexpensive. Here we have the shotgun, which I definitely do like. Just think it looks really nice here. I'm assuming that's where the shells are supposed to go. Grab a Cobra officer. Imagine that they're... I don't think the officers would be smashing through any doors. Usually they'd have probably the troopers, but hey. Who knows? It's Cobra. So you could easily get the hand right here. Make it look like they're firing. Be holding up here. Cock it back. So I like the way this one looks. We have the box Uzi. I believe it's called the box Uzi. Maybe it's not. Correct me if I'm wrong. But there we go. I, I think the handle's pretty big. It's got the long stock. Again, I love this because this was a toy gun that it seemed like we all had. I had numerous ones. But just a nice looking small weapon. And then we have this. Again, I don't know what this is called. I don't remember if this is actually Dusty's weapon. I don't think it is because Dusty's weapon has the, uh, the bipod. But it might be very similar. I didn't go and grab it. But this one looks cool. I just, Again, I don't like the magazines here. I think a, a magazine that is molded into it in the back will be easier because it won't constantly fall off when the forearm is hitting it. But it's got a handle if you want them walking with it. Again, I just, I really like the work that he does. To me, they seem a little big, but people have kind of argued with me and said, no, they're actually to scale. I look at the shotgun, it looks good. I look at this M16. I think that looks absolutely awesome. So there it is. Those are the weapons. I went over this pretty quickly. Hopefully this will be a little bit shorter video than other ones. All right, so there you have it. That's my quick review of the Mark II Designs Weapon Set A. I really do like this. You know, I ordered the the first weapon set, some of the, we uh, the weapon set B. Some of them I didn't really care for that much, but some of them I think look really nice. Again, it was nice to get Beachhead's gun in the set B. If you want a Beachhead's gun, then you can paint it. Um, they talk about what primer you can use, but I do think these weapons are pretty nice. I like the M4, again, he kind of got to shrink their hands because he uses a smaller handle here. But he talks about how he specifically designs these to be in scale. And he's very me meticulous about the stuff. He's now designing the Valiverse weapons, but he's still going to be doing his own weapons. So, but he's already said, like, he doesn't want to just put out weapons that they've already done. That M4 is different than the... Uh, the M4 that Valiverse is doing. This vector is different than that. So he's done different weapons and different things like that. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Before I leave, take a second. Entertainment Earth. I've already mentioned it before. Not in this video, but I mentioned it before. There will be a link down in the description. Anything in stock, you get 10% off if you use. It's not even a code. It's just the website that takes you right to it. $39 or above, you get free shipping and handling. It helps support the channel. You get an Amazon link because I am an Amazon affiliate. Um, then the merch store, you've probably already seen it in the video. It pops up right on the bottom. New shirts. Hopefully there'll be other shirts coming, other merchandise. Um, and then the social media is a punk with toys, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I feel like I should just do a pre-recorded video, but I hate that. I'd rather tell you. I mean, then you guys realize like I am not becoming just a robot. Last thing I ever want to do 
all I'm doing YouTube is become the robot. And I have a feeling you guys realize that's not me. So anyway, I was just talking about, oh yes, the social medias. Again, the other thing is the Facebook group page, Punks with Toys, because once you join, you're a punk with toys. Anyway, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell notification. I'm going to get out of here because I've talked too much about a couple little weapons. Sometimes I think the of you guys are getting tired of me rambling on. But the live stream is telling me different. And you guys seem to come. You guys seem to enjoy. You like the interaction. And here I am just rambling on. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Have a wonderful day. Don't leave. Go watch some more videos. You're going to enjoy my content. You already do. But hey, you know what? I'm going to post a link right here to the weapon set B. Because you want to see that.